Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. Sorry for the lighting. I'm just coming back downstairs to do a little bit of art and um, my lighting's off a bit, of course, because I'm off a bit. However, um, I've been watching some of you guys' videos and art videos and have been so inspired on so many different levels. So this video is um, followed or uh, inspired by Cat Hand. Now you guys know I've been doing mixed media morsels uh, with her um, and she has another one out and I'm going to be doing that later, which I'm so excited. But um, she did a India ink and alcohol one. Now you guys know I love using alcohol uh, to make faux alcohol inks and using it with watercolor and so many things. So I thought I'm going to try this. So this is what I came up with and I'm making little postcard size things to send out for random acts of kindness and different kind of things. I love, let me just show you this one and then I'll go from there. But I love doing, like if you can see down here, let's see, because my lighting's really funky today. Down here, it almost looks like a bird going up this, no, Kel, backwards. I'm, I'm so right here. All right, there's like a bird head and like the body. I don't know what the heck it is, but it looks really cool and I might have to do something with that. But anyway, this is using the, uh, uh, I'm using Bombay. I think she used Doc Martens. So uh, it's very fun and exciting. So this gives you guys a little bit of encouragement to use your inks as well if you have them. And if not, I mean, we all have, uh, it, it's very easy to get uh, Liquitex inks, and um, if you guys want to see those used with the alcohol, you use them the same way, but I have tons of those. I love the Liquitex inks, um, but I have uh, I have a whole mess of Bombay. I don't know if you can see because my light's a little crazy, um, but you know, as always, you can use your watercolor, your acrylic paint. You can do whatever you want. Uh, this is so much fun, so I'm going to show you right now how I did it. Okay, so here we go. So you see I got uh, two different prints and I'm gonna show you how I took, I got the paper. This is just media, mixed media uh, paper, but you can use watercolor or even printer paper if you have it. What I did was I took a whole sheet of my mixed media paper and I cut it in half. I just folded it and tore it in half, cut it in half, and then I did it again. And the reason I'm doing these is because I wanna send out some uh, random acts of kindness and whatnot and just a little bit of art and uh, that kind of stuff to everybody. And then I just cut it in half. Now you can see I don't cut very good, very even, but if it's too off, I'll put it in my uh, cutter and, you know, straighten them up a bit. So I'm only using a few colors here. Um, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna put Kat's link down below. Please go check her out. Uh, she even at the end went back and took white marker and did like really cool flowers and all, which I might do, but I'm not going to do it on my video right now. But uh, you can see how you definitely can uh, trace these and make flowers and all kinds of cool things. And here is, let me see if you guys can see it. See right here, here's like a beak, here's like some sort of head and like a body that it came out. It, really, really cool. And then these could be like stars or something. I don't know, but uh, very exciting. So I thought, well, let me do this really quick to show you guys how I would do it uh, because it's generally the same, but I just have a blast. So I'm gonna put them like this. And I don't want them to necessarily look the same. I have uh, magenta, I have white, I have uh, blue and I have green. And that's all I'm using are four colors. Now, if you wanna do this with acrylic paint, just get uh, your four colors. If you wanna stay colors with me, get, you know, like I said, this is a uh, teal, this is a magenta, this is green, and that's white. And when you get your acrylic paints out, um, put them in something where you can put them in and mix them with water because these are thin. And, uh, and then a lot to go to town. I also have my 91% rubbing alcohol. You can get this in any pharmacy. It, if you might even have 70 in your house, you know, 70% uh, rubbing alcohol, or you might have 99. It depends. Use it, try it all. So these are just mixed media papers, not gessoed, not anything. And I'm going to start out with my teal. And honestly, it doesn't matter what you do. Um, you're going to see Kat's video and she has 
you know, hers is really beautiful with a lot of colors and all, but I'm just, I'm just going to stay, stay like this. And I'm just doing a dot here. So a squeeze there, a dot there, dot there, you know, just try to do dots a little bit, you know, and this, you know, Kat does that a little different than me. And I say, whatever works for you. So if you watch me and you're like, I'm not digging it, go check out hers. Uh, her way might be better. This is magenta. And these are, uh, these are Bombay's as well. These are Dr. Martin's too, but these are Bombay's. I don't know what ones she used now that I'm thinking about it, but. And you can just do like a splat, like, like, you know what I mean? You don't have to do much because you can see they're puddles. And this is the green and I just shake them up a bit. Shake it up. Okay. Look at that one. And you can see how they're already going to be different just due to the fact of uh, they're just different to look at. And then this is white. And I like putting white all, you know, kind of not all around, but kind of in between, more or less, it doesn't matter, because you're going to, you know, it's going to blend and give you that nice deliciousness. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take water. This is just regular water in a beat up old spray bottle. And I'm going to squirt. And I'm not going to squirt too much, but I'm going to squirt. Until you see how like, beautiful that is. I'm going to move it down just a little bit more my camera so you can, can see. Yeah. And see how that starts bleeding out? It's delicious. And you can do a little bit more. A little closer if you want. Nothing too big of a deal. Now... I'm going to take my dropper. I'm going to dip it in my alcohol. This alcohol is only used, as you can see, there's a black smudge there. That means that's my art room. I got my, and I'm just going to just drip, drip. Oh, it's really dripping out. Drip, drip, drip. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. And I'm just adding that on, I'm not wearing a bad, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, give it a tip. I'm going to kind of move it around and bang it. And all this deliciousness, wait, I'll show you what I did with that. Now, if you think you need more water, by all means, add more water, but this one has a little bit more and it's just delicious. See how I'm knocking it down and you'll see what it does. Just taking it to all the sides and look at that. I mean, come on, come on. Okay, so that's all the play I'm going to get from that. Now, I might need to add a little bit more water to this one. So I'm just going to squirt it a little bit more. Or you can add more ink if you want. You know, it's up to you. I like the negative space, the extra white that, you know, is on here of the paper. But you can do whatever you want. Okay, so we're not going to. No. Let those dry. They're going to look great. Now, what I did was, I'm going to take a little bit more alcohol, just a little, littlest bit, and drip it. And now it's going to separate. There we go. See how that does that? It's just going to add a little bit more. Now I'm just tapping it. And the alcohol helps because it also, not only does it make cool, uh, things, it also helps it dry. So I'm just going to take it around where I might want some. And if you want more water, by all means, you want it to be what you want it to be. So I can take more water and give it a little more if I want. Maybe I want more to come down this way. So now I'll just take it after I spray the water, give it a few taps. You could see it running. Look at that. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. And like I said, don't worry about all that underneath. And I'm, I'm happy with this. I'm not hating on this. You can see that the color schemes are the same, but they're a bit different. And like I said, you want to play a little bit more. You could take a little bit more. And you'll see. It won't be as strong if there's not a lot of water, but who cares? I like to touch that on there sometimes because it's a little more controlled. All right, so you get the, the hint, you get the gist, you get the, all right. So 
I have that. So now I'm going to put the lid on my alcohol. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these for a second over here. Just for a second. And look at all this deliciousness. So then I'm going to take... Now this is a piece of... Uh, paper that I did a demo on a video way back. And then this is a uh, face I did with the watercolor. Well, I don't want to mess this up, but, um, but what I wanted to do is I think I want to make a background on here with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be very careful because I don't want it to get on her. And I'm going to just kind of fold it up and add it. And it's just picking up some to add me a background and then I can play with that and I'm just adding it in. You can of course take a paintbrush and do the same thing but I'm just adding some of that back there because I don't want that to go to waste. I can really use that and that'll be really great for me uh, to play with. Then what I do, take your art journal. I also do tissue paper because I have yellow tissue paper and I'll lay that on there and soak up because then you still have your yellow tissue paper, but you're building different colors. And then I'll let that dry. Then I take a piece of mixed media paper. And I'm rubbing it. And look what we're getting. See how it has the different and then turn it another way. And do it again and you could do it a million times whatever way you want and you'll just get all this deliciousness as your start of a mixed media background but that's all i'm gonna do with that right now i'm gonna take these oh i just love these i love these i'm gonna take my heat gun for a second and i'm gonna dry it i always have to make sure i put my lid on my alcohol when i'm done now when you're drying it you can see that you can push some of that ink into other parts of the ink. Do you know what I mean? So it adds some more texture. Now, I'm not going to bore you while I dry all these, but I want you to see, like you can see where my heat gun is and it's pushing that blue, pushing that green, you know, it's just making some more texture. And how can you go wrong with texture? And you can see as it dries, it definitely um, straightens the paper back out. So don't be nervous if your paper, see as I push this, as I uh, dry right here, it's pushing it down again. So don't worry, it's almost like a shrinky dink kind of mentality where, you know, the more you put the heat on it, the better and straighter it gets. Okay, so that's all I'll do for that. Now let me show you. Look how cool. Now, again, you want to do the whole the whole piece, by all means, go ahead. Sometimes I love the white. It just adds something to me. But this is, of course, um, all in what you like. You know, my light is just a little crappy here. I mean, look how cool. That can be a great background. You can cut these into uh, ATC size or inches or whatever you want. And um, they will be fantastic. And then these, you can see, I did a little stronger, right? So you can see the difference in um, the way you do it. This one, I made sure it was all covered. So I put more. These, I left more white. Oh, it's just, it's so much, it, it's so much fun. So much fun. So thank you so much for watching. And I hope you guys do this. If you do, tag me, let me know. Uh, let me see it. I love when you guys share. And as well, please go check out, um, this lighting's killing me. Please go check out Cat Hand. Her link is down below. Send her some love. And I love you guys so very much. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.